Okay, so let's move on uh, Spring Security uh, related. Uh, so what is a uh, Spring Security? Uh, yeah, so Spring Security is a framework uh, that provides authentication and authorization and uh, protection against uh, like uh, any common security threats in uh, Java applications. Okay. And uh, how do you enable a, a Spring Security in a Spring Boot application? Yeah, uh, so in a Spring Boot, we have a starter dependency like a Spring Boot, a starter, and then security uh, dependency that we can add in a pom.xml or uh, like if we are using a Gradle, so there we can add. Uh, then like uh, Spring Boot auto configures this uh, basic security settings. Okay, so what is the default security setup when... Um uh, adding the Spring security? Uh, by default, uh, uh, Spring security applies from uh, based uh, like uh, login and uh, secures all endpoints with the generated password uh, which is uh, uh, printed uh, in the console. So in that way, we can initially uh, log in. Uh, so that is the default one and later also we can uh, configure in the property file and then we can change it. So, yeah, that's one. Okay. So, how do you customize user authentication in a Spring Security? Uh, uh, we can uh, configure, uh, like uh, we have a user uh, detail service uh, to load the uh, user details from uh, database or uh, we can use uh, in-memory user detail uh, manager uh, for uh, hard coding and uh, credentials. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, what is the difference between authentication and authorization? Uh, yeah, authentication like verifies uh, uh, users with uh, to log in if uh, anyone uh, log in into a system the first time. So they enter like their credential username and password. So this is a part of the authentication. So to access any part of application, first we authenticate whether user has already account or not based on the username and password. And uh, uh, authorization is a uh, like uh, access permission. Like uh, once we authenticated the user, then we check whether user is authorized to access that particular place or, or not. So this is basically a access control. Okay. Uh, so how do you implement role-based uh, access control uh, in Spring Security? Uh, okay, so we can like uh, pre-authorize uh, like uh, has a role and then we can give like role admin or role user, role super admin kinds of or we can configure access rule uh, in a security filter chain also uh, using some HTTP and then we have authorized HTTP request uh, that we can use. Okay, uh, so what is a user detail service that you set? Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, it is a inter it is an interface uh, that loads user details from the data source like uh, database. Uh, we implement it, uh, provide a custom uh, user authentication. Okay, uh, so how do you store password securely uh, in a Spring Security? Uh, okay, so we can use uh, like uh, some uh, bcrypt uh, password encoder uh, to hash password uh, pass password uh, before uh, storing them into a database. And in this way, like uh, we can secure like uh, any kinds of password. Okay, uh, so what is the purpose of a security filter chain in a Spring Security? Uh, security filter chain uh, defines uh, security configurations uh, including like authentication and uh, authorization rule uh, in Spring Boot applications. Yeah, so that. Okay. 
How do you secure a REST APIs in a Spring uh, security? Uh, we can disable uh, CSRF uh, for APIs and uh, we can use like a JW2E uh, authentication and uh, we can configure uh, uh, security rules uh, to restrict uh, access based on the user role. Uh, yeah, these are all the things which uh, we can follow uh, uh, to secure like uh, REST APIs. And uh, also like uh, if uh, we want like the browser specific, uh, there is a one security uh, called uh, cross uh, uh, origin resources sharing. So that also we can implement. Okay. Uh, what is a JWT and uh, why is it uh, used in a spring security? Uh, JWT, uh, it's called like a JSON web token, uh, is the stateless token based authentication mechanism. Uh, mostly we use uh, 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 to implement uh, in any of our Spring Boot application. So this uh, secure our REST APIs without uh, needing a uh, session storage. Uh, okay. So uh, how do you implement JWT uh, authentication in Spring security? Uh, yeah, so we can generate JWT on successful uh, login. Uh, we can generate one token, including it uh, uh, in the, uh, we can just pass this in a request header and uh, validate it uh, using the filter uh, before allowing the access. So the first time when the user uh, enter like username and password, so first time like uh, we will just generate this, uh, you know, after authenticating a uh, user is a uh, successful logged in. Uh, we will generate this JWT token and then we will send back in the response to the use uh, uh, means the UI and uh, then it can uh, store in a session storage or local storage in the front end and uh, the next time like the user is trying to access any of the page so basically they will uh, send like that uh, uh, token uh, and then we will give the permission and the access uh, of uh, those pages from the back end. Okay. Uh, what is a CSRF uh, product uh, protection in a Spring security? Uh, CS, uh, CSRF uh, uh, side request uh, uh, forgery uh, prevent uh, unauthorized uh, actions from uh, authenticated user and uh, it enables uh, by default uh, uh, in a Spring security. So we don't need to uh, enable it. But if you want to disable, then we can configure in the like uh, that configuration class. Okay. So how how do you disable uh, uh, CSRF protection in uh, for the REST API? Uh, yeah. So uh, we have a configuration class where we have defined this security. Uh, so there we can use like HTTP. Uh, dot uh, csrf uh, function and then dot uh, disable function we can call uh, uh, in a like a builder uh, pattern uh, in a spring security filter chain is a rest api typically uh, use a stateless authentication so in this way like we can disable it uh, how, how can you prevent a brute force attack uh, in a spring security do you know yeah, we can implement uh, account lockout uh, after uh, multiple uh, failed logins attempt uh, using a login uh, attempt uh, service or uh, we can use uh, tools like uh, recapture, recapture kinds of uh, uh, that's only I think we can do and not sure if there is any other way to do this. Okay, all right. Uh, the one last question. H how do you handle a method level se uh, security in a Spring security? Mm, okay, so uh, we can use uh, in a method level like some annotations called uh, uh, at the rate uh, pre uh, authorized or at the rate post authorized, at the rate secured or uh, we can use also like at the rate roles allowed 
to secure that a particular function when uh, any like logic or the user has access or not for that particular you know so in this way like we can define it okay all right